Hey, what's up everyone? This is Steve here. I'm back after what's been quite a long time actually, and I've got this video for you. And today I want to be talking to you about home recording and specifically miking up a guitar cab. Now, one thing that we have seen, uh, especially the last few years, is you know a big, 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 you know, I don't know if you call it a resurgence or whatever, or a reliance probably is the better word on you know bands going down the kind of DIY home recording route and whether you're recording your guitar by you know using software you know like plugins and stuff like that or whether you're going down the hardware route of you know helixes or kempers or fractals or whatever it is you're using and by the way all of that is good stuff there may still be some of you out there that want to kind of keep it I don't know, what would you call it? Keep it real or keep it old school or whatever. I want to go all the way and actually mic up a guitar amp or a speaker cabinet. Okay then, so if this is the route you want to go down, you've got so many different options as to whereabouts you put a microphone. Because it is very important, you know, because if you've got a particular guitar sound that you're happy with, the last thing that you want to do is go around to a recording studio or whichever band member is going to be recording you, set up your live rig, they get any old microphone, shove it in front of the speaker and go, yeah, that'd do, because that's not going to be a reflection of what you want to hear. And, you know, well, you, you know, you can't unrecord an album. So, what? how do you do this? What's the best, whereabouts is the best place to put a microphone? Well, I don't know. I ain't got a clue. So, I did them all for you, or as many as I could think of. So here's what I did. One, day, one afternoon, to kind of figure out how to do this, I bought my entire live rig into my house, set everything up the exact same way that I would play a gig. You know, same amp, same pedal board, same sound, same settings, same guitar, I even use my wireless, okay? And I'm gonna put a picture of the, the rig that I used up on the screen right now. Now that little small rig that you can see there is the one that I do a lot of my shows with. Um, the real big rig, and I'm gonna put a picture of that on the screen too, that one only comes out for the really big shows, you know, such as the big theaters and the big festivals and that kind of thing. So, how did I go about doing this? Well, what I did, was I used the exact microphone, the same mic stand, even the same XLR cable that I use live. And the microphone I used is this. This is a Sennheiser E906. Really good microphone. If, you, if you're looking for a mic, I'd definitely recommend that you check out one of these because it's fantastic, in my opinion. And this is how I did it. So, I've got a, an old broken clock here, but I want you to imagine, okay, that this clock that you'll see, let me get up the right way, represents the 12 inch speaker in my speaker cabinet and I've broken this video into four separate parts so let me show you what I did part one you're going to hear this microphone going around the outside edge of the speaker like this all the way around and you're going to hear each clock position three times one with the microphone right up against the speaker, five centimeters back, and then ten centimeters back. Because you know, does leaving a gap make a difference to the sound? Well, I don't know. But I've got a clue. I've never done it before. Um, so that's part one. Part two, you're going to hear all the clock numbers again. Only this time, I moved the mic from the outside edge to the inside edge, and went all the way around like that. Once again, with the microphone touching. 5 centimetres away, 10 centimetres away. Part 3, you're going to hear smack bang in the middle of the speaker cone once again, touching 5 centimetres away and then 10 centimetres away. Alright, then we get to part 4. Now by this point I just decided, you know what, I'm going to have some fun here. Because, you know, I'm not in... These are all... The, I've decided to mic up my cab in the most ludicrous ways that I could think of purely to see what it sounds like. Because if you went into a recording studio with a producer and you said, I want to try micing my cab up like this, two outcomes, you know, are probably going to happen. One, you're going to be kicked out of the studio. And two, they're not going to pay you. Well, I'm not in a recording studio. I'm at my house. 
I can do whatever I want. And it's all very well and good somebody telling, oh, you know, don't mic a guitar cab up like this, it will sound like garbage. Well, have you tried it? No, probably not. So you don't know what it's going to sound like. So, um, yeah, I did all that for you as well because I just wanted to have some fun. So another thing I forgot to mention is the guitar that I used in this was my, I don't have it on me right now, but it's my Steinberger um, ZT3 guitar. Now, barring a refret and a brand new output jack, that guitar is completely stock. Stock pickups, you know, absolutely everything. And this microphone was plugged into my, well, my, what is my old interface, which was an M Audio 2x2. I've upgraded it since then, but that was the one that I had at the time. And all the audio that you're going to hear, I haven't done anything with. I haven't mixed it. I haven't mastered it. I haven't EQ'd it. I, when I recorded it into Cubase, I didn't even normalize it. Okay, so this is as raw as it gets. All right, so anyway, enough talking. Let's get on with it.
All right, people, so there you go. That concludes this video. I really do hope that you found this to be very, very useful. And I really look forward to hearing and reading in the comments which, you know, mic positions uh, were your favourites. Now, if you are going to, you know, this is just to give you an idea of what each, you know, how important it is when it comes to mic positioning on a cab. So if you've got a few on there that you like, um, but you only happen to have one microphone, we'll just double track the guitar, blend the two of them together. Um, yeah, there you go. There's nothing more I can really say because in my videos I try not to waffle too much. Hopefully I haven't in this one. So, um, all right, people, we'll leave it there. Now, just before I do log off, at the time of recording this, this is April 2020. Um, we're all going through this terrible um, worldwide COVID-19 pandemic right now. So wherever you're watching this in the world, I really, really hope that this video finds you safe and well, and I hope that it stays that way uh, for all of you. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. See you next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye.